What's going on? It's Kate Kosich here, and I hope you're ready for a tour of Sony's 2022 TVs. The lineup includes 8K and 4K mini LED TVs, updates to the Master Series and Bravia OLED TVs, and one of the first Quantum Dot OLED or QD OLED TVs to come to market. Let's go take a closer look. Sony upped its OLED game with QD OLED technology for its upcoming Master Series 4K A95K TV. There are very few QD OLED displays on the market, but there's a lot of anticipation to see if it's truly the best of Quantum Dot and OLED. In the perfect world, QD OLED panels will display the full spectrum of colors even in high contrast scenes while getting OLED's picture complexities and inky blacks. Sony's TVs are often considered the strongest at portraying a filmmaker's intent, and it sounds like QD OLED is a natural avenue for maintaining that reputation, but of course, we are going to have to test it in the lab, especially to see the impact of Sony eliminating the white phosphor from its sets, meaning there's no dilution of color in bright images. And what I'm going to be looking out for is also noise reduction abilities, especially because this TV is only RGB, the peak brightness gets there with color. As for the rest of Sony's 2022 OLEDs, the A90K and A80K, the biggest upgrade will be something called the Cognitive Processor XR, a technology for better depth control so that objects appear better in a 3D space. It'll preserve positioning while not over sharpening objects in the background. With that updated processor, Sony's OLED TVs promise better image processing power, so we're expecting pretty similar performance between the A90K and A80K. The biggest difference between these lines is really the size options. The Master Series A90Ks are both under 50 inches, including a 42-inch model that will pretty much be the most compelling gaming TV this year. Meanwhile, the A80Ks are 55 inches to 85 inches, but again, we'll need to get them in the lab to compare image accuracy, color reproduction, and peak brightness. But from our little preview here, you can definitely see the benefit of QD OLED compared to regular OLED, though that's not to say Sony's OLED TVs are any less bright breathtaking. That'll have a lot to do with the processor. Again, what stands out to me so far is the foreground, background, and mid-ground establishment. There is a lot of depth to look out for here in further testing. In the world of mini LED, which is basically new for Sony TVs hitting the consumer market, there are two options, the 8K Z9K and the 4K X95K. The benefits here should be HDR tone mapping with more sophisticated backlight control thanks to a higher number of zones. We're seeing brightness prioritized, but specifically how that brightness is handled. What we'll look for here is that these sets don't overshoot that max brightness they're capable of and lose detail. Now, this is something we don't see from every TV maker. The Sony Bravia Cam is a camera and ambient sensor that's compatible with all Sony 22 TVs. It comes bundled with the Z9K Mini LED and A95K QD OLED televisions and will also be sold separately. But what does it do? So besides the obvious for video chatting, the camera also has the ability to adjust picture and sound based on where you're sitting on the couch, but also warn you or your child when you're sitting too close to the screen. It can also tell when you've left and that it might be okay to turn the TV off. All Sony 2022 TVs will ship with VRR turned on, plus come with an auto genre picture mode, letting a connected console like the PS5, for example, tell the TV whether it's playing a game or streaming a movie and toggle the TV's game mode on or off in respect to that. Meanwhile, auto HDR tone mapping will let the said console automatically detect the model of the Sony TV it's hooked up to and adapt the best HDR setting to match. Sony's Netflix calibrated picture mode can also now adapt to different viewing environments automatically. Sony TVs are running the Google TV operating system, the evolution of Android TV, and the models with a built-in mic will be equipped for voice controls even beyond the TV and into the smart home. Finally, these sets are getting an updated remote with more streamlined controls, fewer buttons, and some on the higher end models even have backlight and remote finder, which honestly feels like it was made for me with how often I lose my remote in my own living room. So there you have it. That is the Sony 2022 TV lineup. What do you think is most interesting? What are you hoping to see? What lab tests do you wanna know about? Be sure to let us know all your answers in the comments. Thanks for watching. This has been Kate Kozich.